hi everyone my name is sandeep and in this video i am going to talk about all the ways you can get coins in this game you can see that i got daily rewards 3 co 3000 coins and 5 stone flex the first and very easy way to get coins in this game is just by logging into the game daily you can see that in this picture we get 500 coins for logging in one day and if you log into the second day continuously then you will get 1000 coins and if you continue to third day you will get 2000 coins fourth day you will get 3000 coins and fifth day you will get a bonus gift with the coins the bonus gift may be barn tool construction tool tcash anything it can be so you just have to log into the game every day you don't need anything to do in this game to get daily rewards you just have to log into the game collect the rewards that's it. You don't have to send planes, send trains, send helicopters, or collect troops. Just log in to the game and you get your daily rewards. Let me clear. If you log in every day for a year straight, then you will get 3000 coins every day for 365 days. That means more than 1 million coins. So this is very easy to get coins, but not very high amount. So in order to get high amount, there is lot of other ways and the second way to get coins is help add order you can see here I have seven orders ready to go and I do have two orders products for two orders you see this Don will ask you for products jewelry and he will give you T cash he won't give you coins at higher level he will give you T cash lot but if you don't have jewelry shop then he will ask for ingots and he will give you coins like 1000 coins and 2000 coins like that so you can see for each order i have certain amount of coins in cash and uh, xp he some pro, some orders will have a lot of coins and less xp and some orders will have a lot of xp and less coins you can see here i have 1200 coins and 600 xp and you can see here i have 400 coins and 600 xp here xp is high you can fill whichever you want or you can fill everything you will get coins in both and you can delete the order if you don't want to fill it if you see that uh, here i don't have roses and I, if uh, if my market doesn't have roses and if for planting roses it will take for harvesting roses it will take two and a half hours so you can delete it and you will get new order in 30 minutes you can also refresh it with 40 cash and you will get a new order you might have fill you might can fill see i get one order that i can fill there is no limit on how many orders you can fill. You can fill any number of orders and you will get a lot of XP and coins which will help you in getting leveling up faster and also developing your town very quickly. You see here, it is taking time to fill another order because where is it? See here is our robot, courier robot. So whenever you fill an order, these products will be added to the courier and it will deliver those orders to the rooftops of those buildings. You can see this, the products will be added to this, it is not visible right now. In the previous one we can see that but it is, it will go on to the top of those buildings and it will drop there and will be back to your town. The time will be around 15 to 20 seconds and if your town is very big then it will be taking a lot of time. So you can reduce this by using a trick. Let this reach its plane. So it took around 15 to 20 seconds I think. So we can reduce the time just by visiting other zone. You can see that I am filling this town and it is not at all filled. But when I visit someone's random town and when I back then my plane is ready to take one more order it is still here and you can see the tick mark in this way i can fill help errors very quickly there is also one booster to uh, to increase the amount of coins you will get this is generous customer booster. Orders end twice as many coins as you win. Orders means only helipad orders, not all the orders means I mean plain orders. Only helipad orders will give you double the coins. If I get 670 coins with the booster, then I will get like 1300, 
34 coins the booster will be active for two days so you can this use you can use this booster to get double the coins you can see that my plane is ready to leave so all the credits in my plane are complete filled so completely filled you can see that for filling first row i will get 576 coins and 5 plane points and for second row i will get level 152 coins and 5 plane points and third row i mean filling all the plane crates i will get a chest and also 16 points i will get all these rewards you can see that 576 plus 1152 that means like 1700 coins i will get 1700 coins just added in my and you can see that I got also got 5,666 coins and two barn upgrade tools and one gem. You will get gem, coins or cash and one construction product. So if I fill this again, I think I am lacking on product. You can see this product, it will request two products each time. I have a lot of clay but I don't have jelly fruit slices. Anyway, we will speed up and I am going to request it. So if I fill this product and this crate, I will get 833 coins then I don't have this product so if I request then some, someone will help me and he will get those 833 coins. I don't get coins but if I fill this each crate for filling each crate I will get coins separately. You see 316 coins for filling this clay. I click on load then 316 coins is added to my account. And you can see this if I fill this I will get 1540 coins. I can use coupon too. I will get the same amount for using coupon. Super help. For filling each row, I will get rewards separately. You can see this first row is filled so that I get 1117 coins. If I send now, I can send now, but I won't get this second and third row rewards. If you fill second row completely, then you can see this screen icon will added to second row too. So I will get first and two first reward and second row reward and I won't get third row reward. If I fill this third row, then I will get all the rewards in this plane. I will get 1179 coins plus 2359 coins. That means like 4500 and change, 500 change, 3500 change and also get two bond reward, bond tools, gem and one construction material. So in this way you will get a lot of coins from filling, filling plane too. You will get plane for every 5 hours and it will stay in your town for 15 hours. You have to fill all those crates and send it before the time run out or else it will live on its own and you will only get those rewards for crates you have filled and you won't get in lucky chest because you haven't filled. Com Fourth way to get coins is from chests that are brought from islands. You can see here I got 3 chests and in the first chest I got construction tool, expansion tool. And the second one I got gem and in the last one I got 4,925 coins. Ships will bring you chest if you send them with ingots. Like if you send platinum ingot then you will have a maximum chance of getting a chest in the ship. And you will also have one chest every day in your islands between your islands in sea floating and you can collect it and it will give you like random items lay and you will get coins from that sometimes mostly you will get tea cash and construction material you can see here i got chest and when i am opening i got 5798 coins and you get this chest daily it will reset every 24 hours that means if you collect a chest today at 3 o'clock 3 pm then you will see another chest tomorrow 3 pm if you don't collect it that time and if you collect it 6 pm tomorrow then you will have another chest day after tomorrow at 6 pm not at 3 pm if you want a lot of coins then you can send your ships with ingots like platinum or gold ingot and your ships thing will bring you chest and also it will bring you maximum amount of products that it can bring i mean first product second product third product it will bring three of each kind and you will get chest too in those chests you will have a chance of getting coins and construction materials and bond tools and t cash. T cash is most frequent than coins and construction materials. So this is also one way to get coins. If you send daily then you will get coins daily. The fifth way to get coins in township game is from gifts from friends. You get these blue balloons whenever your friend sends you a gift. During event time you will get first. 10 balloons event products and then even fuels then you will get all the remaining you can see here from clicking on the gift I get coins you can see here clicking on it 
I get 198 coins, 198, 171, 235, 179, 176. All those balloons will not give you all same amount of coin. The this coins varies from balloon to balloon, and you will get T cash in some time. You can see here I can get T cash. Bad luck, not I didn't got any T cash in it, but you will also have a chance to get T cash in it. Ernie will give you T cash every time if you help him. Whenever you help in Ernie's town, like in train, plane, or zoo, then on the next day he will send you a balloon with a T cash in it. You will get one T cash in it. Uh, so this this is also a good way to get coins and cash. And you have to you should have a lot of friends to get too many gifts. And the maximum amount of balloons you can have in your town is 30. All those extra balloons, more than 30, will not show you in your town unless you collect these balloons first. So if you collect these balloons, then all the remaining balloons will show up. And the sixth way to get coins in this game is selling products directly from barn or selling decorations and selling everything in this game. You can sell everything expert factories and community buildings. You can see here I have a lot of jasmine. I'm using some before selling it. And now I'm going to sell this jasmine directly. I get 5,143 5, coins for selling 139 jasmine. And I also have a lot of honey, lot of seashells. So I'm going to sell those products to get coins. So in this way I can free up some space and also get some coins. But if you sell those products directly from your barn, then you will get you will not get that many coins. But if you fill those orders, then you will get a lot of coins. You can see here for filling 20 granite, I get. 1499 coins and also 679 XP but if you sell directly from your barn you only get coins the two less amount of coins you can see I get 1060 coins for 20 peanuts and also I don't get any XP for it so better to fill plain orders than selling directly from barn you won't get XP and also less coins so try to fill try to clear your barn with by filling airplane orders and helipadors. You can also sell decorations directly from your barn, from your town, but you only get half the amount of coins. So you can see that I am selling this tree. It gives me six one coins for selling this tree. But if I want to buy the tree, then the cost price of this tree is twelve thousand coins. So you only get half the amount of coins for selling these decorations and also for buildings. You can see this here. The building cost is higher is with garden. If I sell this, I get 1925 coins. But the cost price of that building is high rise. How much it is right now? 1925. 38.50 I think. 38.50. Mm, 3050 see this is the building we are going to sell if i sell this then i only get half the amount of price we can sell houses trees decorations but we cannot sell factories and commercial buildings special buildings you can see there is no sell icon special building where is it okay this is special building we cannot sell it and we cannot sell factories so we can sell decorations and houses in this township game And we also get coins for helping others. Hey, let me show you. Okay. We'll take a screenshot. We'll check it later. So for filling this I will get 166 coins, XP 129 and also 2 plane points and also an extra clover. So for filling 5, for helping 5 members then I will get 5 clovers. With 5 clovers I can get play house of flux. So you will get coins for helping others. That is also one way and also you will get coins for playing in house of flux. Out of 9 chest you will have 1 chest with coins. And Two chest with cash. See, these are the two chest with T cash and one chest with coins. 
and you get one gem one mine tool or one upgrade tool or construction tool and two factory products you can see here i will show you again you will get one coin just two chest with i don't have this product that way i got it i think see We have one chest with coins, two chests with T-cash, one gem and two factory products, one construction tool, you might get barn tool or expansion tool and one ingot. Ingot is not necessarily, you won't, I got T-cash level, that's good, see, ingot, cash, I got one T-cash, one coins, one co expansion tool, one gem one factory two factor products actually so you also get coins a lot of coins from house of luck playing in house of luck so one way is by helping others and the next another way is from playing of house of luck so this is two ways just by doing one thing by helping so do a lot of help because you will get coins xp and points in that way and also get a lot of cash coins in playing house of luck so these are the two ways 7 and 8 and during events also you will get a lot of coins like at the end of the event all the event products will be sold or taken back and they will give you coins in return and if you place in 8 position 2 below or you just participate then you will get 1000 coins and if you are above 20 position then you will get 5500 coins and if you are between 8 position to 12th position I mean between 7th position to 13th position then you will get 6 1 coins and 2 construction I mean barn upgrade tools and the top you will get gems t cash crystals also okay I am not playing this because I don't have anything special in this event I have this booster a lot of boosters I think 19 I have 19 yes I have 19 I have a lot of T cash. I don't need these coupons because all my factories are up almost 50%. C50. Come on, 50. So I don't need. That's why I'm not playing. But even my competitors are not playing. See, they just left here. The only one he is playing is the top one. All the remaining ones left. He left here. Okay. So in the events also you will get coins so this is also one way and you will get gold coins in gold pass also you don't need to buy gold pass because all those coins rewarded in this gold pass are rewarded only let's see you don't have to buy gold pass this is for free everyone in gold pass you don't have any coins in the top position so you can see here I don't have any coins on top row but I have coins in the bottom row 37,000 coins not small thing. I already collected two more rewards so you will get coins in gold pass also you just have to complete the tasks here here I only have one task so that is also one way and you will also get coins from working in mine you can see here when I'm working in mine some of those blocks will turn into coins you will also get some coins from the special glyphs in mine and you will also have some places special locations where you will get a lot of coins just for free just doing mine you can see here we got a special cave where we got two chest one bottle and two coins you can see 1300 1400 coins and a chest with three t cash and another chest with one barn tool so you will also get coins doing mining like if you do a mining task then you will coins will increase to two to three thousand coins so this is also one way to get coins you will also have a chance of coin getting coins from opening gold balloons in other zones you see you see here i'm opening you need to open it with 3t cash but you will get like five thousand to ten thousand coins when you open a gold balloon 
not every time but you will have a chance to get coins in it so you can see here I will open few more you can only open 5 gold balloons every day so you need to you need 15 tickets to open 5 balloons so I got 2 mine tools and 1 ingot and this is the 4th one I got 5 tickets so you will have chance of getting coins in this you will get up to 10,000, 5,000, 9,000 coins I usually get 5 to 7,000 coins sometimes 9,000 coins so this is also one way to get coins another way to get coins is by filling zoo orders you can see here every zoo order contains 2 crates and if you fill both the crates then you will get 283 coins I mean in this order you will get 283 coins so you have to get you have to fill both the crates to get coins and XP but you can ask help in one crate per order and you can ask help three crates I mean three orders per day maximum if someone helps you also you will get coins and for helping us they will also get coins so you can see that here I am helping my I am filling my orders and I am getting 251 coins for this order and 964 coins I should get so I am asking help in this crate and I am filling the another crate and some if someone helps me then I will get 964 coins but they will also get coins just by filling me let me show you I will check few players and we we'll try to fill okay here we need 9 rubber we can fill it I have rubber I think we will go check in my town and collect them and we will be back okay we have a lot of rubber we will go back you can see here for filling this I will get 312 coins those coins are for me not for her so for filling those orders I will get coins in the same way if, uh, if someone helps me then they will also get some coins you see he got some coins and I am sending clover as a thank you and also get 964 coins my coins haven't reduced so here bagel is tough to prepare and we will ask for egg okay so this is also one way to get coins so fill orders every day and you will get coins for filling orders you will have a maximum of 8 orders you have to fill all those orders to get I mean you have to fill those orders to get new orders if you don't fill then it will stock up to 8 then you won't get any new orders so you have to fill those to get coins and for filling 12 zoo orders then you will get one chest here I will fill these 12 orders then I will get one chest and in those chests you might have a chance to get coins but you will maximum get construction barn tools, construction tools and some pay cash so this is the 12th order I think just 12th order we are going to fill this also because no one is helping right now 8 bagels is not small thing so we completed 12 orders we get the chest we got 1 ingot previously we used to get lot of rewards from old zoo this new zoo which, we, which won't give us much rewards so this is also one way to get coins and the next way to get coins is from this chest whenever you are leveling up you will see some random chest in at certain xp points and you will get construction tools ingots ores t cash and also coins from this chest and you will also get coins whenever you level up at higher level you only get 5 t cash from level 80 and above and below 80 and below 60 you will get coins like 10,000 coins, 20,000 coins, 25,000 coins for leveling up this is also one way to get coins if your level is low but at, your, at higher levels you won't get coins you only get t cash so this is also one way but at higher levels you will have more chest in xp points each level so you have chances of getting coins there but not upon leveling up so I have 5 gifts I am sending them ok and the best way to get coins for people who are at low level like 30 or below then this is the best way you have to watch this film ad and you will get coins for watching ad you will get like 700, 500, to 500, 2000 coins or you will get one t cash and you will get these ads for every half an hour 
you will get like four ads for every half an hour but if you buy tcash or if you buy gold pass then chances of getting these ads are will be reduced but you will get lot of tcash for watching ads i personally was too many ads when i am at below level 30 to get coins so i am blocking this ad here i got 941 coins for watching just one ad you will get four ads back to back if you watch ads continuously so you will get like two to three thousand coins and one to two cash every half an hour so this is also one way to get coins but best way to get coins for people who are level below 30 or below 50 and the last way you get rewards is by participating in regatta in regatta you will get coins as a reward like when you placed in certain positions then you will get regatta coins as a reward I am not playing regatta this week so I can't show you but if you play regatta then you will get coins if you placed in certain positions and you will get coins and cash you will get cash in chest and you will also get construction tools and some barn tools in chest so this is also one way to get coins just participate in regatta every week then you will have chance of getting coins like 5000 coins, 7000, 27000 coins I got like 27000 coins last two weeks back I think so this is all the ways you can get coins in this game so if you like this video please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified whenever i upload a video and you can comment below and i will answer your comments in the first 30 minutes thank you